Hi one, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when Murata Kibasa started the Vampire Diary to expose the government on a major project that they have launched without making sure that the project is uh, uh, put up to a completion, the person who got worried the most is none other than the president, William Samoy Ruto, because he has been the man who has been launching these projects. We've been complaining here about who to launching projects that were initiated and completed by Uhuru Kenyatta and already serving people. We were asking questions, how do you go and launch a project that is already serving people? The water project. Some buildings were put up to a completion and already it is serving two, three years. You go and launch you say you are reopening, opening afresh. The dams. Then there have been a question about um, a stalled project. Started but not completed. Ruto will launch and relaunch and relaunch stalled project. And when it comes to launch, you will think that it is going to, um, to be complete. But it never get complete. The issue of roads, even there is one here, here Gwenda Komudabat, Mako Mululu, Wangulu something. The manner for this road was dispersed under the Uruk Neta's government, and there was contractor on the road. The, uh, the site was identified, and uh, the work never kicked off. But when Ruto came to the power, he officially came personally to launch the project at a place called Mark. <laughs> that tombstone is still there. The road has never kicked off now a year. And we are continuing. So Morana was exposing this, especially projects launched but never kicked off. The most uh, uh, panicked person in what Murata Kipazo was pushing for was none other than William Ruto because he is the owner of those projects. So what did he do? Murata Kipazo shared information yesterday revealing that there could be a mall planted by the National Intelligence Service. in his team to make sure that they are informing, that the person is informing them timely on uh, what is happening around Murata Kibasu so that they can now deal with him timely also. They want to know where Murata Kibasu is walking to Mount Kenya, which place is he going to? When he say I'm going to Rift Valley, which area will he be going to and at what time? When is in Nairobi? Where is he? The reason behind that, they don't want him to expose the stalled projects and fake promises by the president. So there is a mall in his team that has been informing the NIS, the DCI, and the rest. He has explained on how uh, the first accident he got you remember that day we shared the video here? A person who timely called the authorities, the car registration, the driver has never been found to date. How, how possible is this? If the driver was not found, is it a confirmation that our security is weak? When he was arrested, someone made a call said that this guy walked to his office direct in a huge building that you can't identify which specific office is in the bus. They walked in direct. Then the issue of bombers of Kenya. I believe there was someone who was communicating timely and that's how he got attacked. So, the issue that he has to improve on his security, remain vigilant and focus. He has promised to do so. 
And this is to tell you that indeed the government is so much worried. If they can go to this extent of planting a mall, Ata wezi kwa mwono, anetha kwa tuni NIS officer. He's one of them. Because these people, you will never get to identify them. They will eat with you, they will walk with you, they will dress like you. They are even going to condemn the government. They are even going to oppose the government. And you will think they are one of you when they are not. So, without wasting time, I want to leave you with a video from him. Listen to him, then also drop your comment. And you can as well advise Marana Kebaso through this comment section. In my team, uh, the NIS placed a mall a long time ago. You know, Queen. I have a mall on my team. Because when I got an accident in Embo, for me, nilikataza wa Kenya, no, don't speculate. Nilikataza wa Kenya apana, mwache kusema yu accident was planned. Eh? Accidents happen, and this has happened. But later, I realized Kenyans were not wrong to be paranoid or to be suspicious. Kenyans were actually right to be suspicious, and I was wrong not to be suspicious. Because the car that did an accident was not owned by an individual, it's owned by a company. And when you search the CR12 for that company in the register of companies and you check the directors, it's a dead end. The driver is somebody we've looked for, looked for, and we've not found him to date. Gari yata iko huko inaitwa ni Mukuruini police station. What is that place? Yes. To date we not found the driver. Yeah? Now. When uh, I was arrested, there's a call that was made from this office around, around this building. Uh, and that call was made to DCI. That I'm here. Uh, somebody was called here. Akaulizo bosa koe. Aliposema ako. That person called DCI. When DCI came to this office for an arrest. They didn't guess. They didn't look for my office. Remember this compound is so big with so many offices. But they didn't look for my office. They came straight to my office. As if they already had the plan and layout of the building. When bombers happened, okay, when I was arrested, this mall was not there. So whenever bad things happen, hakuangi, anywhere near. Bombers, this person is a very close person in my team and should have been at bombers because come and end up bombers. Na team yangu imeni join. Mbona ya ala miss. Na kuake ni karibu na bombers. Mbona alikuja huku kwa ofisi, maali siko, Barela aende bombers mahali ni karibu na hata mahali ya naishi. So the NIS placed a person in my team a long time ago. When you research this person's history, you are not able to know which primary school they went to, secondary school. They wiped their profile clean. And the best way to wink Kenyans has been, this person pretends, you know, to criticize the government, to say bad things, to, to you know, expose projects so that we can trust this person. There's been an attempt to poison my food. And I'm thankful to God that it didn't happen. Na kama singejua that we have a mall, I think by now I would be dead. But I'm grateful to God and to the various Kenyans who've been sending me information telling me be careful about this person. And uh, I have now become very serious about my security. I now have an advanced intelligence team that goes to the ground before I go to a public event and does, you know, just checking what is the feeling among, you know. For example, in Bomas, you know, I walked into a public event which was organized by ODM and which people had been mobilized and paid money through in buses and where there were goons paid waiting for me because I had said I'm going to Bomas. I've never been attacked anywhere in Kenya because I've never said I'm going to this place. Sijai sema leo naenda embu, ama leo naenda gidurai, ama leo naenda kitengela, ama leo naenda molot bomet. I've never said it. Hata ni kisemanga na semanga tu, I'll be in Rift Valley generally. But because these people knew I'm specifically coming to, you know, KICC which later turned to bombers, they planned very well. Kuniowa. But they didn't succeed. Because God is good.
and because there is a mission. God has given me a mission and I must complete it. That's why he has kept me alive. So from now on, Kenyans, wakati munaangalia team yangu na kuna mtu munajua na munajua ni mbaya, please don't keep quiet. Always raise alarm. I've started vetting every member of my team, where they went to school, what they did, who they are, why they are here, what they do for a living, what they are doing. But wa Kenya munisaidie kwa hiyo mambo. So that uh, to square na malls kwa team yetu. Uh, there is also another incident that I was about to forget. When I was attacked at Bomas, I went to the hospital. When I went to the hospital, I was treated, but wind go to the media and other people that I'm at Nairobi Hospital. So I left the hospital. I came to this office to pick something before I go to the next hospital. So nilikuwa na saidiwa na watu wangu. Uh, na nilipofika pa kofisi, I got information from three different sources that I'll be arrested. And the reason I was supposed to be arrested on Friday was the police were looking for someone to blame for what happened at Bomas. They were saying, let's blame the chaos on Morara. But me, I was asking, but Morara came alone. In fact, at the door, he was only allowed to enter with one guard. So how do you blame it on him? But the police wanted actually to arrest me on Friday and blame the chaos on Bomas on me. So because of that planned arrest, I decided to set a trap for the police. Because I knew they are tracking my phones, I said, Ntawacha simu zangu hapa, I'll go without a phone. Let's see whether the police will come. And the police never came. Because their mall, the NIS mall inside my team, told them I'm a mskuje. This only goes a long way in showing Kenyans that... Uh, it's no longer business as usual. My life is actually in danger and I need to be more careful than I've been. Now, the reason I do not beefed up my security, you know, some Kenyans have been saying, Sasa ya morara kwa nuna unatembea kama mkenya wakawida kwa nini usi beef up security? Why are you failing? But security is expensive. Security is not cheap. Let's say, you know, hypothetically speaking, let's say you pay one security guard, say 20 or 25,000, for example. Just an example. Um, how many would you need to guard the residents, to guard you? And how will you afford that cost every month? So, up and in Afkanga, viongozi wananunuliwa na William Ruto ama na some billionaires. You find that somebody is actually being supported by NGOs that have an interest or foreign governments that have an interest or some billionaires that have an interest because you are not able to afford basic security. But mimi ntachangisha. Ntachangisha wa Kenya. Kila mkenya kinitumia 10 bob, 10 bob. Thao, thao mbili, so moja, miatano. I believe I'll be able to beef up my security and it will be well. So, uh, whatever you can spare, I'll be really appreciative to Kenyans. Whatever they can spare to support me in beefing up my security. But otherwise, me, what I can promise Kenyans ni kwamba siwezi nunuliwa. There are stories of people who say, who you need project, who need project. Maybe they themselves who are saying, who you need project, they are the project. Not the one when you are a project. But uh, I don't think it's fair or good to call someone a project when you don't know them in person, you don't know their history, you don't know where they came from. Me, I come from a family history of fighters. People believe in something, people are principled. So, hatufanani, sio sisi watu ununuliwa, sio sisi watu kuanga project za watu. There are some of us who actually fight for change because we believe. So, hiyo kitu ya kukua na mall ili ni hard sana. Sana. But, uh, ndivo ilivyo. Unajua sikuwa na political experience vizuri. But, sunona I'm gaining and I'm learning quickly. So, hata kama nilifanya yu makosa ya kuwa trust watu, kuenda mahali bila intelligence, ni ukweli nilifanya makosa and I'm sorry I apologize to all Kenyans kwamba hapo niliteleza lakini it will not happen again. I will be more careful this time. And I'll continue fighting for what we believe in together. Sita why wa disappoint na sita why wa chilia. I'll keep doing the vampire diaries. I'll keep doing civic education. I'll not stop because when I stop the enemy wins and the enemy should not win.